Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. I'm Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we are giving you a behind the scenes guide, a look behind the door, behind the curtain to the top 10 insider secrets to shopping at Harbor Freight. But before I jump into that, I want to say a big shout out, big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people and bears. Uh, explore new skills, deepen existing passions, get lost in creativity. But anyway, we'll chat more on that later. Let's jump into it with number 10. This is probably a, a, almost a gimme for most of you. It's good, better, best. Okay, quick pro tip. You always want to check the billboard, see if there's any safety recalls, any uh, product information, any coupon changes, that sort of thing. And then we've got here the epitome of good, better, best here, which is the power tools, the cordless power tools. We've got the Warrior, the Bauer, and the Hercules all the way at the top. Of course, the Bauer's in the middle, Warrior's at the bottom is the good. And then this is this theme is going to repeat throughout the entire store. We're going to see this consistently. Almost everything from the bits to the blades, everything's going to follow this good, better, best strategy. And number nine on the list is don't ignore the corded tools. They have a huge selection of corded tools. There's at least four different types of recip saws, three different types of jigsaws. They've got a ton of circ saws. And yes, you're looking at that correctly. That is a worm drive saw in there. A lot of people don't even realize that Harbor Freight offers a worm drive saw. They've got a ton of options in corded and you'd be stunned, stunned with the runtime. Yeah, and that's not all. They've got drills. They've got hammer drills. They've got right angle drills. They've got impacts. They've got shears. They, they've got all the big boys. My favorite, the Bauer bandsaw there and Sander. Sanders just devour batteries. Consider going corded. You know, if you've got big jobs, if you're not, if, if it's not an issue where you just, you can't have the cord, consider going corded. It'll save you money and it'll save you time. Now that transitions over into also the automotive detailing. Harbor Freight has a huge selection of automotive detailing stuff. They have two corded new uh, buffers, but a ton of cordless stuff that a lot of professional uh, car detailers do use, in fact. And if you are looking for cordless, though, you got to check them out. They're, they look great. They look fabulous. But uh, I'm serious. I know a ton of professional car detailers from the, the Vegas area. Seems like everybody and their brother down there is a car detailer. And about half the stuff they have there seems to be from Harbor Freight. They've got a ton of sele uh, selection here. And that segues into number eight on our list, name brand products. Now you see down below, they got the Meguiar's. They've got all the, the car detailing stuff. They even have new finish and others. Everyone thinks that Harbor Freight only carries Harbor Freight products. <laughs> That's Gorilla Glue, guys and gals. They've got a ton of stuff that isn't part of the, one of their name brands. They have stuff from uh, WD-40, Evaporus, Plastidip, Rust-Oleum, and others. And on top of that, none of this stuff is blocked in the Super Coupons. And we'll talk about those in a minute. There you go. First Alert Fire Safe. A ton of name brand stuff hiding at Harbor Freight. All right. And now on to number seven. Number seven is what some people would consider the cardinal rule. One of the Ten Commandments to shopping at Harbor Freight. <laughs> and that is... Always shop with a coupon. Why? Seriously, why would you go into Harbor Freight and not have a coupon? That did, did not the bear teach you better than that? Yeah, and there's a lot of different ways. You know, uh, I was going to say there's a lot of different ways to get the coupons, but one of the ways you can't get anymore is you can't get the printed catalog. That's gone away. So as you see here on the website, they've got all these lists here. View the catalog, get, get coupons, all this stuff. Most of this stuff ends up taking you to the same spot, which is the monthly coupon list that they're going to have. Now, another thing that you can do is you can also go and you can sign up for an email and they will email you special deals, information. Uh, once they finally start having uh, parking lot sales again, they will do that. And you can click here to do the email, email off for that. In fact, both of these now take you to that. One of them used to take you to sign up for the mailing list. Now it's just an email list for, for both. I'm sure they will update that shortly. The third way you can get coupons besides the website, besides email, is, is through the app. Now, they have the app both available for the uh, Google Play Store as well as for uh, the iPhone, for those of you who go that way. 
Uh, but this is a great way to get all the official coupons right there on your phone. You don't have to worry about them sending you stuff and all that other kind of things or whether you miss it or not. You have the app right there and, and you can pull up the app while you're in store, while you're shopping, to make sure that you're staying on top of all the coupons that you need. Now, the fourth thing you can do is you can go to third party sources. There's a lot of other places to find coupons. Uh, there, there's Facebook groups, there's other websites. One of my favorite is the Harbor Freight Coupon Database. If you guys know, know them, they're a great source source for all the latest coupons as well as a history of pricing and stuff like that so be sure to check them out and speaking of coupons skillshare has graciously offered that the first 1000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description below it's down there in the video description anyway you will get a two-month free trial with a premium membership on skillshare that you so you can explore your creativity and whatnot uh, for those of you who don't know exactly what Skillshare is and what they offer, let me break it down to you real quick. So Skillshare is an online community where you can learn and explore, discover all sorts of great stuff. You can take these different classes and such. And it's not just the members, but the creators are members as well who offer these classes. So you can be both a member and a creator on here. Uh, you can go through, you can browse all the different types of uh, offerings they have animation, creative, fine art, graphics, all this other stuff. They also have build, they have business, freelance, leadership, marketing, and of course, lifestyle, productivity kind of stuff. One of the things I want to talk about, you know, right now with, with COVID and whatnot going on, there are a lot of issues with people with, you know, income and they don't know when they're going to get to go back to work full time and whatnot. So here's a great opportunity. If you've been looking to do a home business, they have a ton of different things that you can learn and explore on how to create and start your own home businesses. They, they got fantastic offerings here. And, and if you don't want to do business, you want to do something fun, something more creative. For those of you who don't know, the bear, you know, I'm, I'm into brewing and stuff like that. They have this great class I've been taking a look at here. Creativity and Beer, a Brewmaster's Guide to Flavor Emulation by Garrett Oliver. If you guys don't know, <laughs> Garrett Oliver is the brewmaster at the Brooklyn uh, Brewery. That's, he's pretty a big deal, actually. And what I love about the classes is that they're broken down into all these little elements. So they're bite-sized pieces. Nothing seems to be over 10 minutes or so. You can either just completely binge all at once or you can pick it up in bite-sized pieces, pieces. On top of that, you can also go over here to the play speed and, you know, pro tip, and you can watch it twice the speed if you're a speed consumer like I am. Also with each class, there's all these other sections that go with it, the about section. You can read about it. You can look at other class projects and stuff that people have done. You can, uh, you can read reviews on the class to see what other people thought of it. You can uh, enter discussions and chat about it with, with other members. Uh, there's the project resources. because Each class has a project. And uh, that's what's really fun. So not only are you just listening, you actually have to get involved. You get, get pause on, if you will. You can save a class for later. You can add it to your calendar. Of course, you can share it with your friends and whatnot. And Skillshare's premium count is really affordable. It comes down to under $10 a month with an annual subscription. And on top of that, uh, they, there's no ads. Because, you know, it's member driven. They're there for the learning process. So they don't, you know, like some other places, you know, really you with ads. So anyway, I'm a big fan of it. I've been looking at it for some time. I've actually been mulling over doing a, uh, a series of classes myself. If there's something you think that I should do, put it down in the comment if there's a class you'd like to see the bear do. Uh, also, be sure to be one of the first 1,000 members over there and get your, uh, your two-month free membership. Anyway, back to the fun here. It's not just tools, but prices are also good, better, and best listed. Yeah, I, I kid you not. They got the whole Goldilocks thing going on here. It, it's it's kind of awesome, actually. And, and let me demonstrate that for you pretty clearly here. So we've got the Admiral uh, sliding miter saw here. Now, I'm a big fan of this for the DIYer level. It's one of the best prices or, or best entry level for a 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. It's one of the best prices that you're gonna find uh, on any of these. But that price gets better, $199.99, $200, that's the base price. So then that's 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 the good, because it's already better than most of them. So the better is gonna be this coupon here at $179. And you're like, well, 20 bucks off, that's not too shabby, right? Well, a couple times a year, uh, depending on the product, it changes. Some are once a year, some are more times per year, but every it's a much more limited. You will see the best price. And that one pops up here and there. Like on this saw, it comes down to $169.99. That's $30 off of a already pretty low price with a saw that is chock full uh, of features for the DIYer. Now, if you look at the, the bargain basement saw that they have, at least in the 12 inch line, is the Chicago Electric. And the list price on that is 160. So it's $10 
It's only $10 more than the list price or the, the higher price for the Chicago Electric. But of course, best price in the Chicago Electric is $130. So you're looking at a difference of $40. And at that point, a lot of these middle of the road, these good level, these Goldilocks zone uh, tools, you're, you're sitting there looking at going, why would I buy the less expensive tool? I mean, at, at this point, uh, for $40, the, the, the basic saw doesn't come with a blade. So I got to buy a blade. So there's 20 bucks for the blade right there. So now am I, now do I have to cover $20 in features from this for a better level saw? Well, it's got a, a bigger platform. It's got better wings on it. it it's got the, the work light on it. It's got the laser in a better place. And on top of that, it's got the tilt bevel feature there all the way at the front. So you're not having to reach behind the saw. That makes this a fact. Would you pay $20 to upgrade your Chicago Electric to that? Of course you would. Who wouldn't? Anyway, that, that's the way the good, better, best thing there works with the coupons. Now, the, the next thing is there's other levels above, above that, which are the super coupons. And we got two of those. We got the 20% off coupon. Now, this thing shows up pretty much all the time. You should never, never be shopping without a super coupon, the, the latest one linked on your phone. You save it as a, a JPEG or something on your phone. Make it the wallpaper. I don't know. You should always have this on your phone ready to go. Uh, now, the next one, though, is the more rare. It's the more unicorn one. It shows up here and there. It's only usually good for a few days, and that's the 25% off one. Now, hold on. Hold on. I know some of you are already chomping at the bit. Go Exclusions, exclusions, exclusions. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a ton of exclusions these days. All sorts of stuff cannot be used with other discounts. You can't stack these coupons. Uh, you can't use it for the Inside Track Club. You can't use it for parking lot sale. You can't use it for a lot of the stuff you want to buy. Air compressors, welders, tool storage. You're not going to be able to use it for any of that stuff. And they call out several specific brands. Don't worry, we're going to get into that later. But there's still a lot of great stuff you can use this on. A lot of things that people forget. There's still a lot of you know, brand specific coupons. There'll be the Vulcan coupon. We've got the 20% off all icon storage coupon. Those are great deals. But, you know, uh, also don't ever forget, you never shop without your free coupon. You got to have your free coupon. Usually it's the light. There's a lot less of these free coupons than there used to be. And it used to be free, just go in and get the item. But then it became free with purchase. So if, if you got to be bargain basement, you go and you can't find anything you want. I mean, Seriously, who goes into Harbor Freight can't find anything they want? But let's say you can't. You just want your free flashlight here. Pick up one of the sliding knives here, the, the utility knives. They're usually right up front. Uh, the full price, this is the list price, $69. There's usually a coupon on this. So you can have a coupon on this. You can have a coupon for the free item. And you can usually get out, uh, out of the store for under 50 cents. Well, for those of us who live in states without sales tax. <laughs> Anyway, but there's lots of great stuff you can still use those super coupons on. Uh, my, two of my favorites are the lifting cart here. I keep telling you, this is the one tool for your shop that you don't have that you will write me an email and thank me for when you buy it. Trust me, I get emails every single week from people who did just that. They're like, I didn't want to buy it. I finally did. You were right. <sighs> Got to listen to the bear, guys. Got to listen to the I'm I'm a North American tool bear. I know what I'm talking about. The other thing is the Franklin Jaw Horse. Now, this is a hit or miss kind of item depending on the current price of the other job horses because they're always closing these things out. But if you can't find one of the other ones on sale, you can use that 25% off on this because it's marked as a Franklin. So not on the, the, the no fly list there for the super coupons. All right. And moving on to number five, let's talk about some coupon friendly brands that you might not have considered. So now, whereas uh, brands like Icon, Vulcan, Daytona and others get all the attention. They get all the love. You know, they're bright, they're shiny, they're new. They're also on the band do not fly list when it comes to super coupons. But there are a bunch of other brands, specifically the Goldilocks brands, such as Quinn here, that are not on the list. And people don't realize a lot of the stuff about Quinn, such as sockets, no skip. That's right. We got no skip sockets here in the Quinn. We got a lot of great tools here, a lot of great sets. Also, Doyle, one of my favorites. This is one of their top-of-the-line brands here uh, above the uh, above the Quinn, above the Pittsburgh. This is their top-of-the-line pliers and side cutters and such. Also, the Bremen there. All of these are on the, the approved list for the Super Coupons. Also, one of the things you want to consider, clamps. Harbor Freight is great for clamps. The C clamps are great. The F clamps are great. Avoid the ratchet, black plastic ratchet ones. I know some people have had luck with them. But by and large, they just strip out and they die. 
Another thing to avoid is usually this, the uh, the vices here, uh, the, the bench vices, they're known to have some problems, some voids in them. But one of the ones in here that you should grab up here is the drill press vise here on sale for only $17.99. Okay, pro tip. Let's say there's an item that you want to try and use the uh, one of the coupons on, but you're not sure if it'll work with that item. Easy. What you do is you either go to your computer or whip out your phone and go to Harbor Freight's website like something like this lifting cart. On all those super coupons, it clearly says storage cabinets, chests, or carts, but they don't mean this kind of cart. They're looking at tool storage. So, and to prove that, what we do, and to test it, I should say, is we add it to cart, then we go to checkout, and then at checkout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter the coupon code. So this month's 20% off coupon code is 23637148. Now, if this is valid, it'll allow me to apply it. And sure enough, we apply it, boom, we just saved $36. So now you know that, that the online cart accepts it, which means that the register should accept it as well. Now, of course, when you're dealing with people up there, you may sometimes get a, a, a person that you're dealing with who, who won't even scan it, and they'll be like, uh, that's not good for that, blah, blah. You know, what I say to them is, you know, I think they know in the system, I mean, they built the system, they know what the rules are. So if it scans it and it works, it should work. That's usually an argument that works. Don't try arguing with the people, you know, and if the person can be stubborn, ask to speak with the manager, tell them that you're kind, tell them you don't want to have to call call the bear and have him come down there and chew off some faces or anything. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The bear kids. Anyway, it, it, it's an excellent way to check these things out and make sure before you waste your time that you're going to be able to use the coupons that you have. So, Let's move on to it. Next one we've got is number four on the list, which is the inside track club. And is it worth it? This is one of the biggest questions I get probably almost every live stream that we do. By the way, we do a, a tool talk live every Sunday at 6 p.m. Mountain time till nine uh, with Jeff and the missus. So hope you can join us there. But that said, the inside track club, is it worth it? Should you bother with it? You know, will you save any money? And it is really kind of a question of what are you going to do with it? And does it make sense? But let's talk about, you know, what are the ways, you know, what do you get for it? And uh, how much does it cost? Because really, that's a big issue. And the one thing I'm going to tell you is uh, you want to join online. And we're going to show you how. First of all, you go up to the top there, join Inside Track Club or click there. And then you, with this, you're going to get exclusive pricing, early access to the parking lot sales, which is when they have those, that means also early access to those marked down items that we're going to talk about later. The monthly coupon book for this is digital as well now. Uh, you can access it from the website. They're going to give you your, your member number. So you just go on the website and uh, you log in with your member number and you're good to go and you can get all your your uh, Inside Track Club member uh, coupons digitally. Uh, weekly emails with elite coupon savings, the membership card, and get this, plus receive a 10% gift card with your membership. Now note the asterisk, that's online only. So that that's important. That's why we're doing this online. So if we look at it, one year is going to be $29.99 and two years is going to be $44.99. But if you do the math on it, even with the $10, because you only get the $10 off once, even if you sign up for two years, but even still the savings is so good. The one year with the discount, if you if you use the, if you consider the card a, a coupon because you're going to spend that money anyway, you're looking at $199 for one year and the two years is $35 or essentially $17.50 per year. Now the question to you is, do you think over the course of a year, you will be able to use those thousands of coupons, those extra coupons they give you, and save $17.50. Plus, you get the early access to the parking lot sale. You get the elite uh, member coupons and all the other stuff that other people don't get. I don't know. If you shop at Harbor Freight, if you're watching this video, you probably shop at Harbor Freight enough that it makes sense. I'm an Inside Track Club member, and I have been for years. And uh, I, I don't think there's any question about whether I've gotten value uh, out of it each and every year. Next up we have on the list is number three, and that is parts. For the longest time, parts was just the bane of Harbor Freight. They knew they, they were lacking in the parts department. Lots of people didn't want to buy some of the higher end stuff because they knew if they needed parts, they were going to be searching and hunting for them and that Harbor Freight wasn't going to be a big help. Well, today, this year, Harbor Freight has really been putting effort into the parts department. And what you want to do is you want to go down to the contact us portion of the website. And from there, you, you scroll down to product support and you click on replacement parts here. That takes us to the part that tells us Harbor Freight carries thousands of in-stock replacement parts for our most popular items. This is a big change. This is a huge change for Harbor Freight. 
uh, now for now it's going to be uh, mostly phone order kind of stuff, but they are, I've been told, uh, going to be moving to an online parts catalog. They say most of their parts are ready to ship within 48 hours, free of charge to order replacement parts. Uh, and if you go to the replacement parts page, it sits here and tells you, you know, how to order the parts. You can download Harbor Freight in stock parts list PDF, find your item, find the part number, call to order. If you don't see them, call them, ask them, talk to them about it. It may be coming in soon. As I said, they're really ramping this up. This is the year of them ramping up and creating a real parts department. So they'll be able to give you the kind of support you really want. Pro tip, you can also go to the item you're looking for, the item you have in the online catalog here or on the website. And if you scroll down and over here, usually we're talking about warranty and stuff. Uh, it talks about replacement parts in stock. And there's the call to order number you're going to call. But here's the available parts PDF where you can go through and you can see what parts they actually have for this item. So you can see they have a stationary fence, uh, complete fence assembly, short drive, long drive, turkey switch, lower guard, dust bag, clamp set, carry handle, brush, lower guard, and top handle. Now that's not to say this is going to be all that they have. That's just saying this is what they've got going on right now. And the parts department, as I understand it, is going to be expanding vastly over the coming years. So I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what they do with that. All right, and now we're looking for number two on the list. And number two is make nice with the store and manager. In fact, all of the store employees, be friendly, be cordial, talk to them, get a smiley face going in with them, and you know, they'll smile back. And if you're polite and, and you're not rude, who knows what can happen? Because, the, you know, the a lot of the, the hot deals that go on at Harbor Freight hang in the balance of what they think about you. Yeah, in fact, I ran into my local Harbor Freight the other day, and look what they had. It looked like there was a parking lot sale going on. Of course, they're not actually doing the parking lot sales, but these are all the open box items you typically see at a parking lot sale. These are all the, the, the this is the gold. This is the treasure at the end of the rainbow for a parking lot sale. All the stuff they have on sale and the flyers is great, but these open box items are where you hit gold. And as you can see, we got three of the U.S. General Carts. We got a bunch of Bauer stuff, a lot of great things. We got uh, some Pierce nailers, a Hercules saw, and even check out this Vulcan welder. And it's got a price of 530 some dollars there. And you know what? I chatted up my manager and I, I, I spoke with him and of course, try to be polite. You know, I'm a polite bear, you know, not stealing any picnic baskets or anything, you know, at least not in the store, of course. And he said, you know what? I can do another 20% off. Oh, I was so tempted. I, I probably should have snatched it because I went back the next day and it was gone. I did grab the Earthquake 12-volt ratcheting wrench. We're going to be doing a review on that probably in the upcoming weeks. I'm excited about that. But the fact of the matter is, be nice, be friendly, because you want a smiley face. You don't want to be that angry cuss. So when you go to talk to the manager, you're like, hey, can you work me a deal? He looks at you like this. Like, really? You? You're asking me to work a deal? Um, let me see here. I got a whole bag of not going to happen just for you. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So be nice. Don't be the angry jackalope. Nobody likes an angry jackalope. And, and that's how you get the really stellar deals. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you've seen some of the fantastic deals I've gotten, or you've even seen some of the fantastic deals that other people have posted that they've gotten. And it all starts with a smile, being nice, being friendly and not being, you know, him. All right. Next up, we got number one is one of the biggest questions, one of the biggest misunderstandings in all of Harbor Freight, and that is the warranty. How do the warranties work? What, what do I get from the warranty and is it worth it? You know, the 90 day warranty that a lot of people talk about here, they say it's terrible. They say it's worthless. Why doesn't Harbor Freight have a better warranty? There's a lot of things you don't understand about the 90 day warranty. The first thing you need to realize is, is with that 90 day warranty is you can just return an item to the store for a full uh, refund or replacement, whichever you prefer. That, that's just like, it's like a satisfaction guaranteed kind of warranty. If you don't like it within 90 days, you can send it back. Now, there are some caveats to this. You know, Harbor Freight isn't a rental, you know, shop. You don't get to go buy a tool, use the snot of it and bring it back. In that case, they may just say, well, you can get a replacement if it's broken or there might be a restocking fee. And we're going to talk about that also. As I said, this is a limited warranty for the 90 days and there's terms that do apply. So one of the things you need to understand about this is that you're supposed to have the proof of purchase, 
All right. I've almost never been asked for the proof of purchase, but sometimes they do. The higher end items, that's more likely, especially if you're trying to do a return for cash. They're going to want to see how much you paid for it, that sort of thing. Also, merchandise returned within 90 days of purchase for refund, blah, blah, blah. Check credit card must be refunded in cash. A government issued ID must be presented at the time. And for safety reasons, this is a big one a lot of people kind of miss. Items cannot obtain oil or gas at the time of return. If you're returning in a Predator engine, it can't be filled with oil and gas, okay? And for other safety reasons, certain items cannot be returned if opened. Like, we're talking about pumps and stuff like that here. And there's a reason for that. And it's, you know, if you think about it, you don't know what they're pumping through it. Could it be pesticides in one of the sprayers or something like that? Could it be sewage that you're pumping out with with one of the, the Drummond pumps or something? Yeah, they don't want that back in the store. Nobody wants to touch that nasty stuff. You're going to have to call customer service online to deal with that. And as I stated before, if you've used the item, it's open, it's clearly used, and you're trying to return it, that they might decide to hit you with a restocking fee for that. And that's going to be up to the sales associate or manager. Uh, so just be aware of that. Now, as to that restocking fee, it's a 20% restocking fee, which, as I said, may apply to certain items. It's, you know, subject to change at any time, blah, blah, blah. And, and the restocking fee will be waived if the item is unopened in new condition, as if they basically they can put it right back on the shelves and not have to worry about doing something to it or, or whatnot. Uh, or if it's exchanged or up, or for an upgrade of the product in the same category. Say you bought something and it was too small. It wasn't like you bought the 500 pound lifting cart and you want the 1000 pound lifting cart. They're, they understand that and uh, they realize you get it home, you got it set up and, and this just isn't going to work. So they may weave the, uh, the restocking fee for that. Uh, also, if the item is covered under an extended service plan or it's being replaced under uh, manufacturer warranty. And as I said before, pumps and sprayers. Yeah, we, we talked about this. That's going to be an issue. You're going to have to talk to the people. You know, you have to call somebody. You're not going to be able to take that back to, to the store. Now let's talk about the lifetime warranty on the hand tools. This is a big issue, and I, I get a lot of confusion from people. And a lot of people try to sit there and say, well, it's the lifetime of the tool. N no, it, it's tools. <laughs> think about it. If a tool had a lifetime, it would never die, all right? Because if it's constantly getting warrantied, even when it died, it would get resurrected, brought back to life, raised from the dead, you know, <laughs> undead tools walking around. No, that, that doesn't make any sense. And they clearly state it right here. Lifetime of the original purchaser. Snap-on has the same stuff in theirs. Most retailers say the same things. It, that That is when they talk about this stuff, they'll either talk about the lifetime, like Hitachi does the lifetime of the tool line. Like as long as they make the tool, they're going to replace it. But their tool lines only last for so long. In this case, with hand tools, it's almost always lifetime of the original purchaser. You go to your favorite, you know, tool company and look it up. Chances are you're going to see the exact same verbiage if you actually take the time to look for it. But now let's talk about everyone's least favorite topic, which is the extended service plans. That's the thing that they ask you when you're checking out, like, you know, this qualifies for a blah, blah, blah service plan for only X amount of dollars. Should you get it? Well, that's a really good question, and it really goes down to how you're going to use it, what you're going to do with it, and everything else. There's a bunch of different categories that are covered, and it, it comes really in two forms and flavors here. They, they have the one-year and the two-year, and what you get really with this is this is not an extended warranty. It's an extended service plan. It's essentially an instant replacement plan. Now, why is that important? Well, if you got a tool that breaks and you're in the middle of a project or you're on the job or something like that, being able to go in slap the tool down and get it replaced instantly is a huge benefit as opposed to having to go to send it off to a service center or something like that wait a week, maybe two weeks. You know, I got all these people saying, well, I make money with my tools. I can't afford to be down. I'm like, well, then how can you afford to rely on like a dual warranty that could take two to six weeks for it to get returned? I, it doesn't make any sense. I want my tool back. Now I want to go in. Here's the broken one. Give me the new one. This bear's got to go. And there's a reason why a lot more professionals are turning to Harbor Freight for stuff like this. I see a lot of small sh auto shops doing exactly this. They buy the one-year uh, one-year service plan. They use the snot out of it, and then you know if and when it dies, they they, they turn it in and they get a replacement. Now the way the replacement plans work can be a, a little different depending on the product that you get. Now, as I had it explained to me, it's based on the value of the product. Essentially, if the product is under, I think it was 300, might've been $400. They, they do an instant replace right then and there. Now, if it's higher up, 
in, in the price, they may go with the repair plan option, which is that they will, they'll send it to a local repair center that they run or that they've outsourced to that will then repair the item and give it back to you. Now, here's the, the thing. When you're buying your item, ask them if there is a local repair center because a lot of places don't have a local repair center. And when that happens, they just go, well, we, we don't have a choice here. And they just give it to you as a replacement, even if you are over that dollar value. Now, if it's one of the higher end items, like an icon chest or maybe the backhoe or something like that, they're, they're not going to have those sitting on store shelves. So you're going to have to wait for the replacement anyway. And the other detail there that it states there off the asterisk is, if product cannot be repaired within 15 days, a new product of equal or similar features, capacity, specifications, blah, 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 and functionality will be provided. Products will also be replaced if the same major failure occurs and requires three service calls within 12 months. So the kind of a lemon law built in there as well. All right, there you go. There you have it. There's your top 10 behind the scenes secrets to shopping at Harbor Freight and saving some money and, and getting the most out of it. Okay. The bear's going to give you one little bonus one now. Uh, now let's don't, don't spread this one around. So once or twice a year, Harbor Freight also does a friends and family discount. And what that means is any of the employees can sign up to, I believe at last I saw it was up to 10 people that they could sign up and give a, they would send them an email for a special coupon that only they could use to go and purchase pretty much anything in the store. Uh, before, when I last saw it, the last time I used it, there were no exclusions. They may have changed it since then. That was about a year and a half ago. But uh, you could literally buy, any, at that time, anything in the store. You wanted uh, U.S. General Cabinets, all sorts of stuff. You could get it without having to worry about it. And uh, and you'd get that 25% off, which is about the best price you're going to get on stuff like that. So another reason to be all nice and cozy with the people who uh, work at your local Harbor Freight. Time to get all friendly with them. Maybe bring them a picnic basket bake them some cookies or something, and maybe you can uh, be one of the lucky 10 that they add to the list when the next one of these comes around. Anyway, thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Also, before you leave here, if you could, chop the old like button down there on your way out. It really helps out the channel. Also, be sure not to miss out on your favorite North American Tool Bear videos here in the future uh, by smacking the old subscribe button and ringing the bell on your way out the door. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. Anyway, thanks again for being part of the den. That's all the bear has for you today. Take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.